What's up, it's your boy Remus. And this video is for the people who want to understand better on a deeper level the dynamic between the male and the female. And in this video, we're going to be speaking about stuff I've learned from this book. It's called Sperm Wars. It's by Robin Baker and it's about infidelity, sexual conflict, and other bedroom battles, right? And the topic of today is why do we like certain things in sex? Like why do we like the 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 really dirty stuff? Not just the penetration, but why do we like oral sex? Why do we like gangbangs? Why do we like watch all this stuff in porn, like facials? Um, why do people in engage in cockadry? Like why is that a popular category on Pornhub? Why? Why do we like BDSM? We're going to be talking about that stuff because if you understand this you understand the instructions on a genetic level um that is producing certain behaviors in us and then you can tailor it to 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 be a stronger more valuable person yourself in terms of like the sexual marketplace so let's start off with oral sex this is something I learned in, in this book. Like, I would always wonder this when I was younger, younger too. I'd be thinking to myself, like, why is that a thing? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, why is it a thing to do that? Like, why is it a thing to give, or why is it a thing for a man to want to lick a woman and a woman to want to suck a guy's dick? Like, why is that even a thing? Well, to you, it, it would feel, like, or to most people, they would say, oh, well, I, it feels good. But why does it even feel good? Like, what's the reason the body is doing that? The body is trying to give, uh, is trying to motivate you to do something by making you feel good when you do it. So we start with oral sex. What I learned in this in this book. Oral sex is a way for both partners to download information about the other person's health and even their activities in terms of if they've been um engaging in affairs or been with other people like when you think about pheromones and stuff those are um aromas that on a subconscious level you're able to smell on someone and it gives you information about the other person and oral sex serves the same purpose so when um a man's licking a woman he can download information through his tongue and they know this and this is what the book says they know this because um other animals do it too you know it's not just humans that do it so the man is finding out if the woman has been with other people because if it's your partner you want to know if you know she's given you the breeding breeding opportunity she's given you her womb um and it's not given to someone else the same thing for a woman um a woman likes oral sex because she's downloading information from the health of the guy's sperm so she's able to see hmm, okay is this healthy now she's not consciously thinking this stuff no one's consciously thinking yeah i'm gonna lick this pussy because i'm trying to find out like you know information about her no one's doing that but I, but you just get the signal of it feeling good oh it's the same reason that people like facials well, girls like facials or a guy would want to bust on a girl's stomach or her boobs and she loves it and she's all like, oh yeah because he's doing it to show off his genetic health he's doing it to say look look how healthy my sperm is you should want this inside of you so we move on to gangbangs why do people like gangbangs well the basis of this book sperm wars is about the sperm sperm warfare that's going on inside the woman's body when two men, um, well, well, like if two men have had sex with the same girl in a week, for example, right? Or the same period in which she's fertile, it's gonna serve her a purpose for her to know or to give the opportunity for those two sperm to fight it out to get to the egg. So when it, w w the reason why we like gangbangs or we like watching it and stuff like that is because what we're watching on a subconscious level is men genetically fight out to get to the sperm so if there's five men that's inside a woman and they're going after and after each other right they're literally gonna be their, their body's gonna turn them on because the body's gonna try to prepare their genitals to make sure that he shoots a fat load inside of her so that he can be the one to get to the egg so 
the the message or the signal that goes to the body is feel good, feel good, get turned on, get turned on. And that's what's being activated, especially like when a man's watching it. Um, what else? We got cuckoldry. It's the same thing. But that's a bit different in, in that one person is perceiving themselves to be the guy who is on the losing end of that. And one, the other guy is being on the winning side of that. So when you think about cuckoldry and um, people like watching it on porn, what it is, is you usually have the more dominant guys. Usually like interracial and stuff like that. Big black guy with big black dick and all of that normal, all of that stuff. <laughs> and um, he's the one fucking the white submissive beta males, uh, beta husband's um, wife or girlfriend, right? And what it is, is the man, or let's say that beta husband, he can get turned on physically because his body's, is being told that his woman is being impregnated, so he needs to, um, he needs to get turned on so he can shoot a load in her. Um, and when you watch it, that's literally what you're seeing on a subconscious level. You don't know that you're thinking all of this, all of this stuff. You just know you like it. Um, and BDSM, the last thing, the reason why people would like BDSM is because um, women like to be dominated because it's their way it's like an expression of the side of them that wants a dominant man in all other sides of life as well they don't just want a dominant man in bed they want a dominant man. they like girls will talk about they like seeing their man drive a certain way because he looks dominant he's he's in charge and stuff like that bdsm is like a hyper expression a hyper expression of those things it's a hyper expression of that dynamic where a woman would want a very dominant man but she's being super dominated in sex now in the next video i'm going to be talking about the last thing that i've learned from um from this book um you know and this stuff is interesting because people always want to know about sexual dynamics they always talk about it as if they know and they don't but here you're getting the real reasons and motivations behind certain things that are happening so you're more conscious of it anyway i'll see you in the next video